everybody today uh, in the studio we're going to be doing a little rabbit with some Easter eggs I thought that would be cute for uh, the holiday season and it's kind of funny because the last painting I did that I'm doing I had done for um, my exhibit uh, some of these colors I'm going to be actually using in this painting I had some of this left over so I thought I might as well use it. I can get the under base coat in uh, and then we'll do the top coat. So let me go over some of these um, tones and colors that I had here uh, if I can find my info on this. Okay, so uh, some of the shades that I mixed for the raccoon, I have a medium gray, which was uh, one part of Mars black and uh, 10 parts of white, titanium white. Uh, you can use any colors that you want for that. Um, you know, the white, as long as it's titanium, I guess that would be best. I have a warm gray, which is uh, four parts of the medium gray that I mixed uh, and one part of burnt sienna and uh, a little bit of one part I guess of white so that would be titanium white uh, I have a blue gray mixture which was four parts of the medium gray so I'm like kind of using what I had um, and that was uh, four, four parts of the medium gray one part ultramarine blue and one part of white now more moss green gray which uh, I'm going to be using uh, a little bit in the background um, that was six parts of medium gray um, one part of chrome oxide green and uh, you can have like different values of that if you want that's up to you um, light gray I had uh, one part of the medium gray and two parts of titanium white. Violet gray was nine parts of white, titanium white, five parts of ultramarine blue, half a part of burnt umber, and one and a half parts of Grumbacher violet blue, uh, or violet purple, uh, which was this, I believe. I used this one. You can see that. Deep violet <clears throat> is what I used. And um, I think we'll just start out with those shades and see what we come up with, uh, if we can work them in with this painting. So I'm going to do my undercoat. And a lot of this uh, through here is gray. Uh, this is kind of dark, so I'm going to kind of make a little bit of that. Like It's almost like it has some greenish shade to it. So I'm going to be probably adding a little bit more of the dark to make that dark. But I think I'm going to use... Um, my blue gray to do uh, some of the bunny here um, and I am also going to use an extender kinda like um, I think I'm gonna use this golden excuse me uh, golden acrylic glazing liquid um, for the other things you can just use whatever you have on hand to mix a lot of this um, it's not like you're going to need um, to buy special paints. Whatever you have on hand, as long as it's some of those colors that I mentioned there. And I'll put that also in the beginning of this uh, video. Now, I started out here, I'm going to use a larger brush, um, which is a number 10. And it is a bristle brush and I'm using the blue gray kind of just uh, putting it in through here just to give that grayness here and it's almost like I'm dry brushing it you know so uh, it would be considerably like a dry brush I just want to get that undercoat in there so that when I do 
put on my shades that I am going to use, this will be part of what I need. Mr. Bunny. Or Mrs. Bunny. I thought this would be nice for the time of year that it is and just getting ready for this. Oh, that might be a little heavy there. That's all right. We can uh, lighten that up a little. Okay. And I don't want to lose my drawing that I have here. And once again, I'll have the um, tracing on Patreon. Uh, for one dollar, you can uh, acquire any of the dollar per month. You can get all the tracings for any of these paintings that I've been doing lately. Got that one. It's really dark around here. And there's some of this gray through here, but we'll just dab it on like that. Then um, there's some of this pink. And I'm not rinsing off my brush that's going to go in through here. here, definitely in through here, I'm just tapping that in, some in through here, And it almost looks like some of this has that a greenish cast to it. And I think that cast is actually coming off of the um, grass that we have. So, let's see. I'm going to put this green in through here some of these places up and through here. It's sort of like a greenish shade. We have some, I'm leaving some spaces. It's kind of light up and through here. We have some of that gray. And I'm going to put the warmer gray in through here because it's being hit maybe by the sun. So you want some warm shades of gray. I'll just tap these in certain spots here. Then we'll get the rest of the green. Just tapping it in. And I'm creating some texture with this.
course we have some Easter eggs here that are different shades than show I think what I would like to do <clears throat> possibly make this this one here like a bluish gray because it's gonna be blue just uh, kind of getting the shade in here and um, this one's going to be a pinkish shade. And that one in the back is very pale. So I'm going to mix a little bit of white with that. Maybe some of the glazing liquid and just kind of glaze that in. Let's make it lighter. All right, um, I'm going to get some of my other greens here, and I will be right back. All right, so let's see here. Um, I have some grass green. I have some raw umber basics. I have hooker's green, and I have some titanium white. And I'm going to also get a little bit of yellow. And that can be... Oh... Uh, some bright yellow of some sorts here. I got I uh, have Naples yellow in the basics. Naples yellow. Alright, so I'm gonna mix some green. Um, I'm gonna get my hookers green and I'm gonna put that out. going to mix that maybe with some of my green that I already have mixed, my gray green. Uh, maybe a little umber in that. Kind of gray it down some. Get it kind of dark. Touch of black. And this kind of gives you a nice dark green. You can see that. And that green is actually in his ear, believe it or not. It's here. In this little nose. Uh, and it's here. It's a lot of green in here. And I noticed that actually when I um, pin it, printed out the picture that this green was quite noticeable in here. I'm just going to tap it in. Um, I want that texture, you know. I need that texture in here. Uh, we have some of that in through here. A green is through here and also on the ear part. Little touch right in there. And here. And then there's a brighter green. Um, which I am going to use as a grass green. A little bit brighter. And possibly a tad of the uh, Naples yellow in that also. Oh, how'd that happen? <laughs> my goodness. Oh, my.
here. And we definitely have some of that in through here. Even up in through here a little bit. We have some of that green, lighter green in through here. A lot of it in here. And I, like I said, I'm just tapping this in right now because it's it's because I want that texture to be a part of this. There's a little bit of this black. It's right in here. So yeah, I'm going to just kind of give that a little blackish brown shade or tone. And that green that I mixed before, there's some of it in through here. Comes off in here. Some of that, more of that brown. Almost like an olive green that comes in through here. And I, like I said, I'm just tapping it in because I just want that texture to come through. Just actually put some flowers in there too. Okay. All right, and I'm going to go right into my brighter green. Add that. up some of those spaces okay. I believe all of this is that blue gray so I'm just gonna go into that again just kind of tap it in a little bit that's kind of got that greenish shade in it that's okay there is some green in in the way he is looking. Okay, get some of that go up in there. But kind of messed that up. Okay. All right. So the rest is kind of white, and that's what we want. Let's see. Let's get all that and some of that in here as well. Alright, so it doesn't look much like anything right now, does it? It's kind of funny how strange something can, something can look. And uh, what we're going to do is get a new palette piece here. Get rid of the old palette paper that has been in here. I'm not going to be able to use it for anything. We'll start out with some of our newer shades now. Okay. Okay, I forgot to uh, tell you guys that uh, I'm using um, 11 by 14 canvas for this painting. And um, was there anything else I wanted to tell you? I don't think. So, um, basically... I think we'll start with the background because I always like to get that in. It kind of pops everything forward and then that way we can uh, figure out what we're doing here. So I'm going to 
make a little bit of a gray green I'm going to use my hooker's green and I'm going to use uh, raw umber for this to gray it and I am going to use titanium white so So this is sort of like a grayish green back here. Um, there's not that much going on back there. It gets darker as it comes forward. So I'm going to be using that nice uh, number, what number was it? Number 10 flat. So let's see here. I'm going to get some of my green. some brown to kind of gray it makes it almost look like it's black and then I'm going to add my white a little bit more brown to that okay and I'm just going to get it put in here get it as close to my Easter Bunny as I can Get some of the sides too. You know me, my sides, I like to have those done. And just kind of lightly go over what we have here. Um, that gray that's back there will help. There's some of that darker green, which I like in there also. lightly going over what we did. I've got a little hair in there. Let's see for some of the details just getting in those little crevices or areas. I'm going to use my um, angle brush. This was a 3 8 inch angle. Kind of get it up close here. You can always add a little water to your paint just if it's not uh, it's going on too dry. Okay. Kind of went into the ear there. So we don't want to do that. Blend it out. I'm just going to get a little dark here, just a tad right in here. Shows a little bit. Just a... Then as we get down here, it, like I said, it gets a little darker. But I'm kind of just wanting to have some of that show through. That dark that we put in here. And I can get some of my uh, lighter green, which is uh, grass green. Put that on on my palette. This is a Master's Touch, which uh, came from Hobby Lobby. I kind of wanted this to be a little bit brighter here. Just kind of blending it lightly in here. And it actually might have a little pink in there. So, um, let's see. I have some quinacridone red. I'm going to put that out on my palette, too. These complement each other. Uh, we don't have to have it pure red. We're going to, you know, uh, mix that with some white. I'm going to rinse out my brush. So I hope everybody's ready for the Easter holiday, all the 
are celebrating Easter and those that are celebrating Passover. Okay. And I'm going to add a little bit of that to my green too. Just to kind of get a little oil. I don't really like that. I want it darker. I got to have it a little darker. But I like that red in there. This might be too dark. I think this is just an indication that there might be some flowers back here. Um, okay, not nothing too fancy there. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just kind of go. I did rinse off my brush and I'm going to mix some more of that green. Kind of get a little bit more of a little bit of white in there. Just kind of. Pushing it in there. With this brush, just texturing. indications of this little bit of red through here so I'm just gonna kind of give it that little oomph that it needs there then go back to my green then as we get down in through here it gets darker but I just want to actually use what I have on my brush here as I'm doing this Hope you can see everything that I'm doing. A um, little bit more of that red. I think I'm going to need a little water to get that. Just to get some of that on there. darker here up in here it's kind of like a purpley reddish color so I am going to use some of my deep violet actually put that in there so I got that on my just a tad on my palette and I'm going to add a little brown to that Still using my uh, paintbrush that I had. A little bit of brown. So it's sort of like a brownish purple. And just up in here, there's just that little bit of dark. And I'm probably going to go over that with some of my mixture of green but I am going to rinse my brush right now rinse my brush and then go back into the green come through here just tap tapping it just kind of giving it a little bit of okay um, then there's like a bluish kind of gets bluish on this side I think because it's more in the dark and uh, 
so I'm going to add a little bit of my ultramarine to my green. My ultramarine blue is from um, Master's Touch also, which is a Hobby Lobby paint. So I'm pulling some of my green. Uh, right here I pulled some green and just I'm going to add a little bit of blue kind of give it a little bit of and I don't have that much that I'm putting in here it's just going to kind of give me some blue in through here and I actually might bring it this away also I like a bristle brush just to do what I'm doing here and get some more dark. It's going to get darker as we get down towards the front of our little bunny rabbit. I have to get close to his ears too, so I've got to get around all his little parts here. See, and all that that we had in here, it's just that I just have to tap it in and it shows through. And we'll put some grass in, you know, that it looks more realistic. But right now, we just want to get that background kind of textured and it goes up. Okay. All right, I'm going to rinse that brush out and get my little angle brush. I'm not leaving my bris brushes in the water. Let's see here now. that up a bit okay let's see just to get around his little ears And of course, we have to get the sides too. That's his little foot. Make sure I got that soft. Oops, white. That's going to be white in there. Okay, we're getting this in here. And I believe it goes into here like that. Kind of meets up with the bottom of his little tum tum. It's so nice. I love spring. I love to see all the beautiful trees. 
that are starting to bloom and it just is so peaceful looking and amazing to me that how these little trees just know when it's time to show their little pretty little um, pretty little everything they've got uh, so much going on and it's just so lovely I just really love spring just is so miraculous to me okay I'm gonna get this so I can push this in because I want that to look a little shaggy looking like this little bunny rabbits in the grass I want this little bunny rabbit in the grass So I was real thrilled this week. Uh, I sold my first Etsy painting and uh, just made me happy to see that being sold. It was of my endangered species. If you remember, we I did a collaboration with Angela Green and uh, she did, oh golly, what was that that she did? I can't remember. But we did endanger species, and um, I was able to sell mine on Etsy, and I'm just so thrilled. That was my first, very first sale on Etsy. So some of the paintings that I do um, here uh, on YouTube, I do sell on Etsy. So, um, and it's under Pittsburgh Artist Shop. So if you're interested in any of the paintings that I have, uh, you can check that out. And we're going to put some flowers and all those pretty little things in here. Yeah, we'll get some little white flowers maybe in here. And... Uh, little teeny daisies or something be pretty okay all right so now um, I want to get the little face in but before I do that I want to get its eyes in so its eyes kind of are a little bit dark so I'm going to make the eyes a little black and a little brown just so that we know that uh, there is some pupil on the eye and I am going to use a different brush now I'm going to see how this works this is a number four simply Simmons flat and I'm hoping that this will go into the eye real nice um, here I'm just gonna add a touch of white touch of white kind of get like a grayish brown because the outside is kind of lighter and it does show somewhat in here <clears throat> sort of like a gray here and it comes around here okay like Simply Simmons brushes, they really are nice. Okay, let's see if we can get the other side here. Now, not as much as showing here, but I kind of like to get the eyes in next. It just kind of gives you a little bit of insight to the rabbit's eyes and soul, and I just think that's important. Okay. can use like a small detail brush too uh, which I'm going to grab one here and just get a little water on that kind of get that just a tad better there get it the corners there 
All right. Clean my brushes. Get them out of there. All right, so now I'm going to get um, just pure black for the pupil. Pure black. Just fill this in. Take your time. With that, take your time. I don't know if you can see how I'm doing this. I'm just taking my time. Once you get the eyes in, it almost starts to have a little bit more personality to it. Then we can get the highlights in after. Highlights. Highlights. And so this side of the eye shows a little bit more. This little rabbit is so sweet, so sweet. All right, so um, to me on the picture, it has like a pinkish glow through all this. So I'm going to mix uh, brown with pink. And I think what I want to get is my raw... Well, my burnt sienna. Let's see how that looks. And I'm using my... Oh, that's burnt umber. Well, let's see how that takes. Uh, we want it a little darker. Um, I'm going to be adding white to it, so it should be good. I can add a little tight and buff to it also. Mm. Let's see something a little warm yeah let me get my tight and buff out and that's a, a golden slow dry which might be a good thing to have kind of gives it a little bit more of that color range for the rabbits Okay, and um, I think we're going to mix that. Before that, I want to have a little drink. Now, if you notice, I made this green because reflection is coming off the grass <laughs> towards this little rabbit, making it a little... So I'm adding my red, a quinacridone red, to my raw or burnt umber. Then I'm getting my Titan buff. And uh, I kind of like that. Okay. And it just gives me that little bit of chocolatey. Whoops! Oops, nothing like dropping your paintbrush. Okay, so let's see. Maybe a little lighter. Add a little white to that. There we go. So I'm just gonna kind of tap this in also because I want some of that gray to show through some of that pink up in here kind of makes it look a little bit more like hair growing through here okay, and it's pretty kind of white in there little bit lighter here I'm gonna get a little lighter so I'm adding some white to that 
as you get to the top of the head it gets a little lighter here get a little bit lighter want it lighter around the eyes now we're making it lighter but that doesn't necessarily mean that it should be totally white it has a bluish cast but because I have this red it's uh that's the way it's going to be. And then I have to get like a light, well, if we go like this. But it does have to have sort of like a little um, dark spot going through there. So what I'm going to do is get my flat brush and uh, mix that little bit of red and brown and kind of make an indication right here there's a dark spot like that make that a little bit more brown even a gray could be more of a gray brown here red I don't like should be more brown okay and now I'll just tap that over it okay okay get some of that in through here comes out so we've got to get that so that we can get this coming out a little a little bit of his little fur okay Now on the edges, it's going to be very light. Now what I want to do here is get my uh, rake brush. We're going to use this rake brush here. It's a short handle, Princeton, three quarters of an inch. I'm going to wet this a little bit, the lighter part, like the Titan Buff and the white. Just kind of give this a little push here with some of that and it doesn't have to be crazy and you can get some of that going in through there if you want you know show some hairs but I think we're going to save that for the end when we're uh, finishing up look at he's starting to look like a rabbit that's amazing now we also want to kind of like have this this little piece come up through there a little bit of a dark shade uh, so I think I'm going to get my brown I'm 
just so we know that this kind of splits here. And it kind of goes that away. Splits, goes this way. All right, and then we put, now see how it's starting to get darker, which is, um, I'd like to get it a little bit lighter. So I'm going into my tight and buff straight. Straight. Just kind of give it a little edgy here. See if that kind of brings that a little bit lighter. Now, down through here it can be a little darker, but this has to be a little lighter. We want that a little lighter. There we go. We'll see how that dries now. Again, that number four. And I'm going to paint around the eyes a little bit with some of that blue mixture that I have. around it's like a little hook right there just slims down some there's a little bit of white there there's some right here okay and his little nose has some brown here and uh, it comes down and then there's this little piece right here all right so let's get some that white sort of closer Bring some of that out. Some of that brown comes out. He's looking so cute. He's really looking adorable here. Getting some more of that bluish shade. And, uh, Okay, so this is kind of dark and then it comes down here like and then this is like white Here, I'm going to just be painting this straight because this is sort of uh, interesting here. Part of its little foot. A little warmth. And then it gets a little bit darker. Right here, there's like a little triangle color. some depth here, some darker. So I'm just going to go in here with some dark and then we'll go over it with some light. And then 
I really want this to kind of like come around here where his there's like a little bit of a shadowy thing that comes around here so I'm gonna get that in there shadowy that shadow comes and meets that So, um, that may not be exactly where the shadow is. I kind of goofed that up. Okay, I got it now. Let's see. It comes up, like, right, right here. I'm going to get that in. We can always go over that shadow there with the white. Okay. So, I'm going back into my Titan buff so I can get that shadow, this one, out of here. Then we're going to get this one where it just kind of blends in a little bit. And it's weird how green this is. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to go in with that green and some light white some green and white just a tad because it is such a green part here maybe it just needs to be a little green okay okay I will come around here again like I did that white okay and I'm gonna come in with the Titan buff just come down in through here a little bit. Kind of bring out some little hairs. And uh, actually, I can probably use my rake brush for that. And I'm going to get the rake brush and come in with my Titan Buff, mix it with a little bit of the brown. And a little white. So I also press that into my palette and separate all those little hairs so that I can get those little hairs just the way I want. Like that. Get that up there. some of them hairs to come this away also this here. we're gonna hit that on the edges too but right now I'm concerned about more about how my little buddy's shaping up. I want this to be a little lighter yet. This needs to be darker. And then right around the edge here, it's kind of like that green cast. So I want to get that green in there. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Green, a little white. And it's right in here. It's kind of greenish cast, believe it or not. And it kind of goes into this area. Same with up in here. Okay, so we're going to kind of just get that little bit of green in there.
and this comes up in through there so we'll get that in there Now, we want to get this to blend a little bit better. Okay. So I'm going to try to get this somewhat lighter. Uh, Titan buff might not be my answer, but I'm going to try anyways. Because it has that beigeness to it in exactly the way I want it. With a little bit of the light burnt umber here. So right in here, it gets, it gets, uh, this is darker here. So we want to get that to come through. And let's get this lighter if we can. Light, light, light. Just tap it on top of that. Just very delicately tap it on. I'm moving my brush in different directions. I'm not keeping it quite we'll work on that. Okay, that's nice there. I think we're getting somewhat this has to be curved in, curve it. Okay. Now this has a deeper dark, so I'm going to go back in with my darker brown. Kind of just tap it in there again. Dark. So especially. And then what I can do is like when I put my hair in, it'll kind of adjust itself, I'm hoping, to where I need it. Okay, and <clears throat> right here it's quite light, quite, oopsie, don't want it like that, okay, so this is quite light here, then it kind of gives me that darker shade here, let's see, we can get that in there, kind of warm it up a little bit. That's also part of the leg here. So that has to be pretty dark. There's just that little bit of white kind of just to break it up here. So that's part of the leg. Part of the leg. So I talk a little lower as so I'm concentrating on this. Um, just wanting to get this to where I like it. Give me this again. Almost mixing it right on the uh, canvas here. Okay. And right at the tip of the ear here, it's pretty dark. So I'm going to just stick that in there. And of course, we have this little bit here that's pretty dark. And it almost actually comes down in through this. It's dark there. So I'm just going to kind of brush that up. Get that in there. And brush this also. This. Okay. Alrighty we're doing okay and certain areas here it's a little grayish sort of 
So I'm going to get some of that brown and black together. Mix it up in my whiter shades here. Into my uh, Titan Buff. And um, let's see. So right in here, it's kind of dark. It's like that. Maybe I need a thinner brush here to actually get that right. I'm going to use my angle brush to get those angles in there. Blend them in right. Okay. Angle it. And here we want that a little darker because we're going to make that light. Okay. Oh, he's starting to look really cute. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so uh, this rabbit's starting to really shape up. It's starting to come together. I'm going to um, get some white mixed with a Tamora blue because I want to go through here with that. And uh, if you you can see, I got my big twelve, number twelve bristle flat. So I'm just going to mix a little bit more of that white and blue. And it's not going to be very much blue, but it has to have a bluish tint to it. It's not quite white. I'm just going to get that. And it looks more like it is white, but it isn't. I'm going to put more of that blue in there. Especially up in here. I want it to kind of have that bluish color to it. I'm just tapping it in again. I'm just tapping it. In here. Um, just kind of tapping it even in this, but pulling it. I'm just pulling this and down. So it shows like it's hairy there. Tap through here. And we're going to tap some more in through here. Get that through. Once, want that brown to show through a little bit. But it has to look like there's, um, that this little baby has some darkness underneath also. We want to keep that in there. And then we're going to tap some of this in here also some more. We're going to get some of that pale brown also and get some of that in there. Alright, now I'm going to get some of that pale brown. I'm mixing uh, my 
umber with my tight, uh, Titan buff. That should give me a nice shade. Come through here. Sort of, like I said, it's a diamond shape here. Let me get my bristles a little further apart here. Maybe I need to add a little dark in there just so it kind of gets a little bit more match up with the top there. Much darker in here where his little dark around the eyes area here we're gonna darken that up we're gonna darken this up here kind of light through here so I'll get some of that other shade just kind of tap in some of this okay good 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 tap it in tap it in and just fade it up into that. Okay. Very deep in here, darker. Just going to use what I have on my brush. Get that. Same within here. Just tapping it so that it has that look that, that is dark in there. A little darker down in here too so I'm gonna just go straight into my umber kind of has that depth right here maybe a little bit more on my brush if I can get it, it seems to be a little dried out it's drying out quicker than I expected so I'm gonna put some more of my burnt umber out into that with what I have on my brush kind of just get that in there a little bit okay definitely here we got that got that dark around here and let me just go into my Titan again Titan buff and kind of just kind of slightly don't want to erase all that because we need it but we have to cover it a little bit too just so it looks more natural okay very good very good and of course then this is kind of dark down here but I want to add a little light to it just a tad. And we might want to even go into that green a bit just to kind of have that shade in there. Um, so I'm going back into my grass green for this. Oh, I have some out. Okay, let's see here if we can get a mixture of that and some of our dark. Okay, where did I put that there? A little bit more of my Umber. Because that green cast is coming up and hitting the little rabbit in various spots here. So we want to make sure we get that in. 
and right here it's real dark right here so I'm just gonna go into my umber with the green on my brush kind of just put like a little line here now let's see if we can get that to uh, work for us here so there's like that greenish part through here right on top of that we'll just tap that in and it's really dark around here so I'm gonna get that in there also that that's darker where it kind of separates the head okay now this is a lot lighter and we're gonna get that and actually this is a little bit bright but I want to what I want to use is my um, rake brush And I want to get that. So I'm using my rake brush. This is a uh, one half inch rake brush. So I'm going into my Titan Buff. Just kind of create some hair lines here. Just lightly bring it down. Bring some of it down through here. Okay like that okay definitely want to try to get this where it shows a bit more that's okay that's good and around the eyes here we're gonna get that a little closer too um, and I have to get this real light like a light Titan buff it's surprising how many shades are in this little baby it's so sweet so I rinsed out my brush this time. I'm tapping it again. And it is very, very light in here. Okay. And very light through here. And it kind of comes down here. some lightness right in here okay good and this is going to be all kind of like hairy looking and so will this too because you're going to have um, some uh, hairs coming out of his little thing there just kind of tapping a little bit of this in here so it blends out there is some in through here. This is pretty light in here. Pretty light. So I want to get make sure that that's light. And it's a little darker around the eye there. So grab some of my umber and just kind of give it a little lightness there. Darkness. Same in here. So little bit darker okay oh he's adorable this is such sweetness I'm gonna tap this in it's kind of light and dark but I'm gonna get this tapped in Just tapping around the edge of his foot here. Just tapping around it with some light, tight and buff. Give it a little tight, um, tight and buff there. And I'm actually going to add a little bit more the lightness through here, just a tad. Not much though, just dragging some of that. Lots of hairs that are going to go that way. Just kind of giving my indication there what I have to do. Alright, so for now we're just going to leave our little sweetheart 
for a minute and I want to get I'm going to use my liner brush because right around here I want to make sure that this is covered close same on the other side I'm just using tight and buff here um, there is a little bit of darkness let's see if I can grab that umber it comes right down here it's almost like a little um, wrinkle little wrinkle tapping it with my finger this side doesn't show that so much but this is kind of dark through here so I want to just try to get that in there The shadow little shadow and this kind of goes around like that it's a round shape bit of brown in there all right so um, then let me get my number number four uh, there's like this lightness that goes around there so I'm just gonna get my number four put some tight and buff on it and tap it in so it just kind of looks a little more natural Always when you have a dark right next to it is light so we want to make sure that light is in there and that hair almost touches I mean it comes out here you know that uh, I'm gonna put a little bit more of his eye here because it kind of looks sort of like it sticks out somewhat same over here I'm just using that umber burnt umber now I want to put a little um, catch light in here just to help this to pop so I'm still using my liner brush for that and I'll just put one here and here maybe just a little catch lights There. Little catch lights. All right, so we want to see here. Okay, this here is going to be sort of like that bluish color. So I am going to get my number four and go into that blue again and white. up that again now it looks real blue here if you can see that it has a blue cast but once I put it on here oh it is kind of blue <laughs> we want we want it to be a little lighter than that I don't want it to be too blue okay well we'll do this we'll put this on and some grass blades will be going over some of this anyway, so. And it comes right down here. Kind of works its way up. So let me get my big brush and kind of work that up with that. Down. Tap it. There we go. Now it gets faded through that, so let me get my buff kind of faded here. OK. 
Okay. Now I'm going to wipe that brush a little bit and I want to get his little paws in there. So I'm going to mix a little bit of my umber, my burnt umber with my tight and buff and a touch of white. Just a touch. You get a little bit, sort of like almost like a, um, kind of reminds me of a, uh, facial color but it's not I mean this is quite dark there's some grass that goes through this I'm gonna get a little bit of my dark just a tad work it in there and um, right in through here it's kind of darker little darkness okay work it okay we lost all my dark here um let's see I have raw umber I'm gonna put some of that out I think I need it to be a little darker. Instead of the warm, this will be kind of cool, a little bit cooler. I'll tone that down some. There, that's good. he's so sweet he is such a sweetheart okay now like his little mouth is kind of dark so it will be sort of like a little triangle here and I'm just using that raw umber on my brush And I want to kind of get a little closer over here because there it's just a I, I want to get that more light going into my white. Kind of lighten it up around here a little bit. fingers if you have to okay same around there around his little mouth so it stands out a little bit okay so I'm gonna like take a break from little bunny little Peter Cottontail <laughs> And I'm going to move on to the eggs. I want to get those done. So we're just going to use that number four brush and see. Um, let me see here. I want to go to my favorite little brush here, which is my number six Windsor Newton. Okay, for acrylics. Okay, so I want to have like a pale orange back there. So I am going to use my raw sienna, which is a basic color. I'm going to put a little bit of my quinacridone red in there. Kind of get that a little orangey. And then some of my Titan buff. And we're going to put this in here. Well, this is going to have somewhat of a glow to it also. 
and uh, maybe I'll put a little white in that just to lighten it up a bit. That's my glow on that egg, and it's kind of white through here too, so kind of just uh, blending those, just blending them lightly, just blending. Now I'm going to get my quinacridone and some white. Sort of make this a light pink here. Oh, you can't even see that, can you? Let me find my quinacridone red. want the eggs to be a little lighter. This might not be... Oh, it's pretty nice right now. I can leave it as this. And this other one is a blue. Now we got to get our highlights in there and everything. So, uh, so I'm just going to mix my blue and white, ultramarine blue and white, together. Very easy color. Just kind of go over this one. Okay, so I, what I want to do, I'm going to put a little bit of a dark uh, color around this, like a little nest. And um, I will be putting some light shades in here also. So it's kind of going to, the bunny's going to be behind this. But I have to get that dark in there first. So, and you have to remember there will be some grass growing around all this also. push my bunny rabbit back a bit. <clears throat> I'm going to go into my Titan buff and kind of just put some little things that look like um, possible parts from the basket or the nest just to start it. Might be a little too wet yet to get those in. Like over here, too wet over here. So we just darken it up again. A little too thick on that one. That's okay. 
started anyways. There's little things that come up through all these little pieces here. Just making little lines and I'll I'll work on that a little bit more. Just kind of getting it in there. I just wanted to get the basket in. Just to kind of make it there. We'll work on that some more. I want to highlight this blue egg. a little depth also this one here on this egg too. I'm not real happy with that color of that one. Okay. A um, little bit of light pink. Oops. Okay. A little darker, maybe. Okay, so I'm just mixing a little bit of my umber into my pink. <laughs> okay, because we want to get a shadow, and a shadow has to be right in here. Okay, and the shadow is kind of right in here. Almost goes all the way out and just kind of, let's see here, got to get a little bit more light in here. That quinacridone is very, very, very strong. So when you mix it, you kind of have to mix it with some white in order for it to Okay. Okay, my blue egg, same thing. 
I'm going to add a touch of the umber to my blue, kind of graze it down. Then I'm going to add some white to it. And it's going to be right about here, that shadow, right in here. And we're going to add this white and it almost has like a little bit of a comes in like this that's that highlight so let's get that blue back in there our roundness here so let's get that back and let's see I actually could go over this one here okay so it's a kind of a big egg <laughs> all right now there's some kind of a glow of this um, this one here onto here so I'm going to rinse out my brush and I'm going to pick up some of that quinacridone mix it with some white and get that glow from that pink one in here just a tad of a glow and it can be a little bit lighter to be in there okay get my orange back we can keep glazing at that just keep glazing it with the pink until we get the right shadow and everything that we need I'm going to make a little glaze here with my umber. Just kind of follow this. Oops. Okay. Let's wipe it in there. Kind of giving it some roundness. And my blue, I'm going to get a, that to be a glaze also. I'm just adding water, making it kind of thinned out. And believe it or not this comes up a little bit like that okay so I don't want to lose the color of my egg by doing that but I'm gonna probably just add a little bit more here And maybe I'm going to bring this basket up a bit more. So let me get some brown. Okay. I'm going to figure that one out yet. we got to figure that one out yet. And there's a piece that goes over that away. And I'm probably going to use some of my uh, raw sienna. 
kind of get some light pieces in here if we can. Just for the basket weave itself. little pieces that are sticking out of this okay so we're almost getting there we're getting there so uh, we will let this dry a little bit I don't like that one right there so I'm gonna take that out the little water if you don't like something just get it right away that way it won't there can have that little piece sticking out we need to add a little bit of more lightness to the uh, basket some of these curl inside of that so it'll, it'll take a little time to get that basket the way we want it I like the rabbit <clears throat> we need to add a little bit of whiskers here and then I want to add some little flowers around here some little white things growing and um, maybe a few uh, sprigs of grass but I think we're almost pretty much done with this it looks so cute I love it I hope you guys like it um, so uh, as we continue with this I want you to like and subscribe give me those thumbs up which would be helpful and uh, that little bell that is is beside the scribe the subscribe hit that bell and every time I upload a video you will definitely be the first to know and uh, also share share some videos with um, that you like and uh, hopefully you like this one for the holiday I know I do I think it's adorable I think he's so cute and I think once he gets his whiskers in he'll be real nice real cute little bunny rabbit so I'll add some little hairs and you don't have to add a lot of hair to this you don't want to overdo it but uh, you need to get some in there so that it looks more realistic. And we're going to work on this basket, uh, get that the way we want it. So um, for now, this might be just part one. And uh, we'll continue with part two next time. Until then, bye and thanks for watching.